हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू मैक्नोटेक यूट्यूब चैनल फ्रेंड्स अवर टुडेज टॉपिक इज फ्रिक्शन क्लच एंड इन फ्रिक्शन क्लच देर आर थ्री टाइप्स दैट इज स्प्लेट क्लच कॉन क्लच एंड सेंटर फ्यूगल क्लच सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ प्लेट क्लच राइट सो हियर यू कैन सी दिस फिगर दिस इज अ सिंगल प्लेट क्लच ओके एंड पावर इज ट्रांसमिटेड बाय द ड्राइविंग प्लेट कनेक्टेड विद द ड्रीवन प्लेट बाय मीन्स ऑफ दिस कंप्रेशन स्प्रिंग and here friction lining material is stick with the driven plate and when this uh, joined with each other driving plate and driven plate then power will be the transmit okay now here few terms w is the axial load so here uh, we can say uh, load from here to here on the plate that is called the w axial load r1 that is a external radius means this shaft external radius that is called the r1 so here you can see this is a r1 okay uh, from center it is r1 now r2 is the internal radius so here you can see uh, this figure this is a r2 okay smaller radius and the friction lining material is only in between this because of this is a cross section area here you can see this is a continuous friction lining material but Uh, it is actually in particular this area friction lining material so from center to this distance is r2 and center to this distance is r1 okay now p is the intensity of pressure means uh, whatever the intensity of pressure of this plate okay mu is the coefficient of friction of friction lining material so i hope you understand all these terms mu is the coefficient of friction and p r2 r1 and w now you can see here this is a side view okay and for make it easy to understand first of all we have to consider only delta r portion which is at the distance r okay so first of all we have to consider only this portion and after uh, find out the equation for t torque we will derive it for outer radius and inner radius okay so r1 and r2 ki limit hum lenge integration we will integrate it and take a limit from r1 to r2 and finally we derive the equation for the torque okay now uh, here you can see this is a same figure so consider a small elemental ring radius r means here we have to consider a small uh, elements delta r which is uh, having distance r from here and thickness delta r on the connecting surface so area first of all we have to you know equation is area for the delta r this area okay so area of this particular region is delta a so it is a 2 pi r delta r okay so it is a circumference into this thickness delta r so 2 pi r into delta r so first you should know this delta a means area of that particular ring that is 2 pi r delta r now uh, as we know that we have to find the torque equation so torque is equal to frictional resistance yani ki frictional force into radius so here we have a radius r r distance into frictional resistance why we call it frictional resistance because here we have a mu okay because mu is the coefficient of friction of that particular lining material that's why fr is equal to we can write mu into delta w and what is w it is a axial load okay axial load like here two plate okay uh, first is driving plate and second is driven plate so whatever the axial load here that is called the delta w okay and why we take it delta so we have consider only delta r portion that's why we consider it as a delta w so delta w is equal to pressure into area of ring so pressure p and area of particular ring it means this portion it is 2 pi r delta r so basically how you can remember this equation torque t r is equal to f into r then f is equal to mu into delta w delta w is equal to p into area 
so, and area is equal to 2 pi r delta r so i am going from bottom to top okay or you may be uh, remember it from top to bottom okay so finally we have to uh, uh, find out this equation of torque okay now here there are two things that is uh, when we use the clutch very new okay uh, the clutch is very fresh then we have to assume that the pressure from inner to outer radius is uniform okay so this is outer radius this is inner radius so pressure from inner radius to the outer radius is uniform so here there are two theories first one is uniform pressure theory and if the clutch is you know some having some use maybe six month one year then due to bending of plate or anything else we have to assume second theory that is uniform wear theory so our second theory is uniform wear theory so we have to find the equation of torque by these two theory first is uniform pressure theory and second one is uniform wear theory so hope you understand now uniform pressure theory so pressure is equal to constant okay now pressure is uniformly distributed over the contacting surface area it means from r2 to r1 and p is equal to w upon area of that portion so area contacting surface area that is pi r1 square minus r2 square so here load upon area this area is the area of you know okay so this is r2 inner radius and this is outer radius so this is the area of particular this region okay okay so pi r2 r1 square minus r2 square okay so p is equal to w upon pi r1 square minus r2 square now uh, we have a torque equation and let us integrate and uh, having some uh, un uh, limits so here torque 0 to t and here limit is r2 to r1 because r2 is a small we have to take it in a lower side and r1 is large we have to take it upper side and 2 pi mu p r square delta r that this equation we have derived okay so this equation tr is equal to mu p b r square delta r so same equation here we uh, already put it 2 pi mu p r square delta r then 2 pi mu p is a constant so r here uh, we have a limit r2 to r1 so r square into delta r so you know integration right so here if we integrate this r square it is r cube by 3 okay and here limit is r2 to r1 and here limit is 0 to t so here we can put t okay so 2 by 3 pi mu p r1 cube minus r2 cube okay so if we derive this okay then we got the answer of this and if we put the limit then it is r1 cube minus r2 cube and 3 we put it over here 2 by 3 okay pi mu p r1 cube minus r2 cube now uh, we have also one equation that is for p p is equal to w upon pi r1 square minus r2 square okay so here here it is p is equal to w upon pi r1 square minus r2 square so here w upon pi r1 square minus r2 square so when we put the value of w p here then finally we will found it here uh, actually 3 is missing here so you can write it 3 here so 2 by 3 mu w r1 cube minus r2 cube upon r1 square minus r2 square okay so by this way we can find the equation for the torque this is a final equation by uniform pressure theory okay so here we have two theory that is uniform pressure theory second is uniform wear theory so by using uniform pressure theory we have derived this equation and after find out t we can find out power amount of power to be transmit is equal to 2 pi n t upon 60 now next is by uniform wear theory okay we have derived the equation for uniform pressure now uniform wear theory uh, wear is constant over the entire contacting surface so due to wear we have to consider we have to assume p into r is equal to constant so p 
is equal to c upon r here constant c we have consider constant as a c and upon r now uh, we have equation and we also have to find about c what is c is equal to so uh, we have equation that is delta w is equal to p into 2 pi r delta r in the very first we have found this equation delta w is equal to p 2 pi r delta r so this equation we have to use here delta w is equal to p into 2 pi r delta r so p is equal to c upon r so put the value c upon r here 2 pi r delta r then r r will be removed and 2 pi c delta r so delta w is equal to 2 pi c into delta r now have a integration and limit 0 to w and r to 2 r1 so when we put the limit then here it is w is equal to 2 pi c r delta r ka ho jayega yaha pe r integration sab ko pata hai right so r or yaha pe limit so 2 pi c r1 minus r2 now c is equal to now we have to find the value of c so c is equal to w w upon 2 pi r1 minus r2 now this value of c we will use it later now we have equation for the torque is 2 pi mu p r square delta r so here p is equal to c by r okay so as we know here p is equal to c by r so here p is equal to c by r into r square delta r so finally we got the equation tr is equal to 2 pi mu c r delta r now this equation in this equation we have to take the limit 0 to t and here r2 to r1 2 pi mu c r delta r so 2 pi mu c is a constant so take it outside and r its integration is r square by 2 and limit r2 to r1 so here we can uh, put it here like r1 square minus r2 square by 2 so here 2 2 will be the cancel and here pi mu c bracket r1 square minus r2 square now c we have find the value of c right so c is equal to w upon 2 pi r1 minus r2 so put this value over here so c is equal to we can put here w upon 2 pi r1 minus r2 and here r1 square minus r2 square so it is r1 plus r2 and r1 minus r2 this value is r1 plus r2 and another bracket r1 minus r2 so r1 minus r2 will be the cancel and r1 plus r2 you can see here so finally uh, pi pi is also cancelled so we can find out the torque that is 1 by 2 mu w r1 plus r2 so by this way we can find out the equation of torque by using uniform wear theory so finally you can see here torque equation by using uniform pressure theory and another equation for find out the torque that is uniform wear theory so in the exam examination if uh, it is asked that uh, by using uniform wear theory then you have to use this equation for torque and if asked about the uniform pressure theory then you have to use this torque equation okay and after find out torque you can find out the power by using 2 pi nt upon 60 okay in watt now uh, this is the almost uh, you know uh, theory for the single plate clutch so friends uh, if you have any doubt you can ask me through the message and uh, thank you jai hin jai bharat if you like it then share it and subscribe for the more videos thank you